and welcome to Game Face SFNL Division 2 to 10 Netball Show. How are you, Hugh? I'm quite well, Mark. How are you doing? I'm really good, thank you. Nice and rested after your week off? Yeah, really well rested. What about yourself? Yes, yes, quite. I've had the feet up and I didn't put them back down again. So there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, remember for this show, we're going to be recapping all the results from Division 2 to 10. And this week, we're going to be having a focus on Division 8. So very exciting there. Um, before we start, though, a massive thank you to our sponsors, Bendigo Bank, Caulfield Park, 1111 Fitness and Swivs Locker. We couldn't do this show without you. And so we'll throw straight into the Division 2 results. Uh, we'll start with Keysborough 39 beating Cheltenham 38. Uh, St Kilda City 46, beating Caulfield 36. So I'll be asking you about that later <laughs> on, Mac. Uh, Dingley 56, beat Mordialic 41. And Oakley District 38 were beaten by Heatherton 42 in the uh, top of the table clash there. But uh, Caulfield, what happened, coach? Um, I think, well, we actually played at the Peanut Farm in St Kilda, so it was great to play on their new courts and have that experience. Um, I think St Kilda City just caught us off guard and um, they came out really strong, which impacted us in the end and um, ran away with it in the last quarter, unfortunately. Now, I heard that you guys had to put in an invoice to Statey for the car parking. Yeah, well, it was rather expensive at uh, upwards of $10 for a two-hour spot, so um, that would be my only bone to pick there with St Kilda City, mm. but um, it was a really good venue um, and exciting for St Kilda City to have that chance for us to play there. Wonderful, uh, um, good hospitality always from St Kilda City. Yes. Going into the ladder in Division 2, uh, Heatherton on 20 points uh, lead the way. Uh, Caulfield, uh, having suffered their first loss of the season, uh, now on 18. Murrumbina and Oakley District on 16. Cheltenham and Keysborough uh, on 10. St Kilda City 9. Still harbour some hopes of uh, playing finals. But we'll see how that uh, pans out. Yeah, and for Division 3, we have our results. Cheltenham 51 defeated St Paul's 12. South Yarra 39 defeated by Doveton Eagles 43. St Kilda City 42 defeated Black Rock 28. Caulfield 52 defeated Dingley 37. Murrumbina 61 defeated Frankston Dolphins 23. So um, some very big margins there for Division 3 this week, but um, great to see Caulfield coming away with a solid win after being rattled from injuries. There looks to be a sort of divide uh, opening up between the top four and the rest in this division. Mm. Uh, St Kilda City on 24 leading the way from Murrumbina and Doveton on 20. South Yarra uh, 18. Uh, leading the pack uh, in the um, in the chasing group is Caulfield on 13, uh, with uh, Cheltenham, Dingley, and Frankston on 10. Um, Dufton beating South Yarra uh, on Saturday uh, means that they swap uh, in third and fourth, and really that's the only movement uh, around the top end of this competition. Yeah, and uh, the top four there looks very cemented. Um, our Division 4 results, we have Springvale District 38 defeated St Kilda City 32. Uh, Bentley 44 defeated by Heatherton 45. So super close game there for Heatherton and Bentley. Uh, East Brighton 53 defeated Doveton Eagles 26. Mordialic 33 defeated by Clayton 39. Keysborough 65 defeated mm -hmm. Oakley District 17, so a massive win there for Keysborough. But um, obviously the game to highlight there is Bentley and Heatherton. Yes, certainly is. And um, look, um, a, a very good win uh, from the Heatherton side. Um, this uh, is um, down the um, lower end of the table, and uh, that's... Um, Heatherton's second win for the season, so uh, third win for the season, I should say, sorry. Um, at the top uh, is CPL uh, on 22 points. Uh, East Brighton also on 22. Um, Clayton, 16. Mordy Alex and Kilda City, Springvale, 12. And Heatherton now on 10. Yes. Who uh, still really have big hopes of playing finals. So that's a very close sort of ladder, that one. Yeah, CPL... Um 
and, and East, Brighton. East Brighton look like they've really cemented their top two positions there. So it will be interesting to see what happens with that Division 4 ladder. Yeah, there's some very good shooters in the top three sides and, and, and uh, therefore might just um, uh, get, um, prove to uh, be the uh, deciding the factor yeah. in, in the destiny of this competition. Yeah, and Division 5, we have Aspendale Arrows, 41, defeated South Yarra, 34. Dingley, 50, defeated by Caulfield, 56. Uh, well done, Mama Bears. Doveton Eagles, 37, defeated Bentley, 21. We had Morty Alec with the bye. Hampton, 32, defeated by Lyndhurst, 50. Lindale, 33, defeated by St Kilda City, 61. So some... Again, really big margins <coughs> happening there. Couple of surprise results really in, 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 in this grade this time around. Uh, Lindhurst beating Hampton, uh, mm. and Hampton had been showing some very good form uh, up until this point. Um, Dingley uh, really pushed Caulfield, which um, was a shock to many. Um, a, a lot of... Uh, Division 5 watchers uh, thought that Caulfield would win that relatively easily and, and uh, Dingley pushed them all the way. Yeah, and I guess that sort of comes down to uh, the opposing games. Obviously, Caulfield's a very mature side and um, Dingley has the youth in their side, so I think that would have impacted the game. And so Dingley basically tried to run them off the leash. Yeah, mm. so and, um, obviously Caulfield's just come out on top there. So Caulfield uh, leading the way on 22 points. Uh, Doveton and Hampton, oh, and also Aspendale on 18. <laughs> uh, Lindhurst on 16, staying in touch with that win over Hampton. Uh, South Yarra, 12. St Kilda, City, 9. And the rest probably aren't going to play finals this year. No. So uh, we, we move into Division 6 with uh, Dingley, 30, beating uh, Doveton Eagles, 25. Uh, St Kilda City 56 beating Lyndhurst 31, Hyatt 49 uh, beating East Brighton 22, Caulfield 45 beating Mumbina uh, 39, and Heatherton 54 beating Parkdale Vultures 29. Springvale Districts had the week off this time round. Yeah, and I'm um, looking at that ladder. Heatherton's on 18 points with Springvale District, Doveton Eagles and Murrumbina all on 14 points. Caulfield, St Kilda City both on 12 and Hyatt on 10. So um, a really close ladder there and interesting to see how close that division is in Division 6. I was saying, um, I think last week, um, or last show anyway, watch uh, Parkdale Vultures. Well, they've gone and lost on me. So um, <laughs> thanks, girls. Um, thanks, girls. Um, they don't call me the kiss of death for nothing. <laughs> Division 7, you want to throw this throw yeah. this one there, uh, Mac? Sure. So South Yarra, 47, defeated Springvale District, 13. So well done, South Yarra. A very uh, large win there. Karen Patterson Lakes, 25, defeated by St Kilda City, 44. Morty Alec, 15, defeated by Sky, 46. Hallam, 9, defeated by Hampton, 88. So um, I think that would be our biggest margin of... The round, yeah, probably uh, of the season actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, Keysborough yeah. twenty-four defeated by Heatherton forty, and Cheltenham with the bye. Um, again, some really big margins there, and I think that's reflected on <coughs> their leaderboard with um, a really close top four. Well, uh, Hampton undefeated, uh, eight wins from eight um, on uh, 26 points and a percentage of 521.88. <laughs> so uh, they are really uh, taking this competition by storm. Uh, South Yarra on 24 points, though, um, also haven't uh, been defeated yet. So uh, they're not letting them uh, uh, take it all their own way. Not at all. Uh, St Kilda City 19, Sky 16. They're an interesting side coming back into the competition after a couple of years break and uh, good to see them doing well. Springvale Districts on 16, Heatherton 12, Morty Alec 8 and um, the we'll leave the rest. rolling out the pack I think there and um, that brings us to Division 8. So obviously our focus division of the week um, and our first game is Dingley 42 defeated St Paul's 5 
Um, so a very big win there for Dingley and um, interesting to see that these margins are still so large. Yeah, Dingley uh, in this particular division have uh, a lot of girls with um, top end experience, Division 1, Division 2. Uh, Mel Aids plays for Dingley, Penny Byers Timms who uh, was Dingley's coach uh, for Division 1 for um, quite a few of their premiership years. Um, uh, play in this side and St Paul's are battling on gamely every week but uh, they're just not getting the results hopefully that'll come for them in the in the second half of the season yeah and then Lindell 31 <laughs> defeated by South Yarra 62 so again another large margin and interesting to see South Yarra being really strong across the lower divisions I'm quite keen on South Yarra in this division um, I think they've uh, got the side on, on the court there to uh, go very close. Yeah, and um, a very fair side from all reports and mm. a side that's going to work hard and um, for everything that they get. So Frankston Dolphins, 28, defeated by Dandenong, 37. And obviously Frankston Dolphins is a new side into the league this year and um, interesting to see that they're sort of holding their own against some of our tougher sides. Yes, definitely. Um, <laughs> Mandy Hall and her crew down there have, have done a great job in, in getting this club and this side together. Uh, Mandy actually plays in this side, so um, you know she's uh, familiar with how this particular division works. Um, uh, but uh, look, Dandenong needed this win to stay in touch with the, with the top four and, and they got it. They were too good on the day. Yeah, and um, our next game is Bentley 36, defeated by Caulfield 47, and um, a really nice win there for Caulfield. Um, they've been putting in a lot of hard yards, so it's nice to see that it's paying off. Bentley have quite a few players rotating through this team, and uh, a few of the uh, few players with with Division One experience and Division Two experience uh, who can't get on the court every week, uh, but will play when they can. And uh, look. Um, Again, Bentley probably haven't got the results that they really like in this division, but uh, they've got the personnel to uh, do a bit of damage in the second half of the season. Yeah, um, and our final game for this division is Cheltenham 43, defeated Doveton Eagles 32. So um, probably one of our closer games for the division. Um, obviously, nice to see Cheltenham strong all across the board, but Doveton Eagles, I don't think they can be um, underestimated. Definitely not. Uh, Cheltenham riding high in this division. Uh, Doveton, that loss actually uh, knocks him out of the four, unfortunately. But um, who's to say they won't be back there by the end of the season? Uh, certainly a uh, very competitive side. Yeah, and by looking at the ladder now, it's clear that Dingley um, is in the top position with 24 points. Um, just really polished, and I think their uh, higher experiences is really paying off. Very, very strong defensive side. Yeah. And, uh, look, that's uh, certainly something that uh, gets you a long way in the lower divisions. Yeah. Um, Cheltenham on 20, South Yarra 18, Caulfield 14, Dandenong and Doveton Eagles 12, Frankston Dolphins 10, Bentley 8, um, and Lingdale and St Paul's both yet to have a win on the board. But it will be interesting in the coming rounds to see how that game goes of Lindale v St Paul's. Yeah, and certainly there are probably eight sides with uh, a genuine chance of playing finals here. Yeah. So, um, look, there's something, uh, this is a division to be uh, keeping an eye on, I think. Yeah, and obviously um, in those lower divisions, I think the ladder chops and changes a lot. So it's really it interesting to mm. see um, how that's being impacted in the results. Anyone and can beat anyone depending on what side they're able to put on the court. Yeah, and I think that's a big uh, variation for mm. each team. So obviously good luck to all the players in Division 8. Um, it was really great to have a look into your division for the show this week. And we will be watching it. Yeah. Um, so our Division 9 results, Hyatt and Hampton Park. Um, we had a 0v0 zero zero yeah, game. No so result there, so I don't know what's happened on that one. But yeah, I uh, um, hope everything is okay from both teams. Yep. Um, and will be interesting to see if they both take the court next week. Um, we have Lynnhurst, 16, defeated by Murrumbina, 61. <coughs> Hampton, 50, defeated Oakley District, 21. Dingley, 24, defeated by Mordialic, 43. 
Parkdale Vultures 38 defeated BlackRock 23. So again, some really, really big margins. Um, and that Lyndhurst Murrumbina game, Murrumbina must have been on fire. Yes, yes, because um, yeah, that, well, they needed that win to to, to stay in touch with Hampton. Uh, Hampton have uh, really um, taken the uh, taken the lead in in Division Nine rather strongly, uh, but. Um, I'm prepared to say, even though there are other sides close enough, I'm prepared to say that this one's a race in, the, in those two sides. Yeah, and we'll have a quick look at their ladder. So we have Hampton 22, Murrumbina 20, Hampton Park 18, Parkdale Vultures 16, Blackrock 14, Hyatt 12, and Oakley District 8, um, with Morty Alec Dingley and Lynn Hurst rolling out the 10. So again, a really uh, close but spread out ladder. So very interesting there for Division 9. And Hugh, do you want to show us um, what's going on in Division 10? I would love to do that. Uh, we've got no results in the first two games Ooh. between uh, Springvale District's Red and Springvale District's Blue. So uh, maybe they've just decided to have a tea party <laughs> instead of playing. Uh, Hampton Park and Clayton also no result there. And um, that is a pretty vital game because that's uh, fourth against fifth on the same number of points. So uh, hopefully we get a result there uh, in the uh, ensuing days. Uh, Heatherton 36 beat Doveton 22. Oakley 40 beat Keysborough 29. And Hampton 38 beat Dandenong 22. And looking at their ladder, Oakley District and Hampton both on 20, Heatherton 18, Clayton 12, as well as Hampton Park 2, and Keysborough 10, Dubton Eagles 8, and Springvale District Blue, Springvale District Red, and Dandenong rolling out the 10. Um, so really exciting to have a look at all those divisions there, Hugh, and great to see some quality netball across all divisions at SFNL. Courts. And most divisions are still very competitive. There's still uh, a lot of sides in contention for the top four in, in, in each of those divisions. Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, but that brings us to last week's poll question. Um, and we were looking at Game Face and SFNL bringing in the live scoring, which can be done through the Game Face app. Wasn't that the question we posed a couple of weeks ago, Mac? Yeah, I think it might have been three weeks ago, but um, unfortunately, Will Hunter, I'll mention it right out, didn't put it up. But that's all right, we'll take it um, from there. But we had 76 people say yes and one person say no. So um, great to see that everyone's sort of backing the publicity and development yeah. of netball through Game Face. And hopefully um, that's something we can implement in the future. Yes, well, uh, certainly we, we send that over to the league now. Yeah. And uh, um, we say, look, get hold of your, your team organisers and, and let's put this in place. Yeah. And obviously this week we looked at Division 8 um, and how they've been competitive and everything like that. So our focus question this week is we want to know what your thoughts on are on who you would think is going to win the Premiership for Division 8. So uh, we looked at that ladder and that will be a poll question on the group. What do you think, Mac? Call filled in with a chance? Um, I think Caulfield is in with a chance and I think for by looking at the ladder we can't count anyone out. Your thoughts? As I said before, I'm very keen on South Yarra here. Um, look, Dingley have got, um, a, as I was mentioning before, a, a very experienced and very um, able side. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll say a Dingley South Yarra Grand Final. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. Very interesting. And it will be um, interesting to see what happens there with Division 8. We can't wait to see what your thoughts are. And, every... and I've alienated all of Cheltenham with that. But anyway, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, and on that, I would just like to quickly throw a shout out to Izzy State, who played her 50th game for Caulfield on the weekend. So uh, congratulations, Izzy, one of our uh, really club-orientated people. So it was great to see her have her 50th. Nice work to you, Izzy. Um, <laughs> But that brings us to a wrap for this week's show. Please make sure you jump on board and comment. Let us know your thoughts and what you want to see in coming weeks. Um, we'd really love to have some feedback there. 
Um, but of course, a massive thank you to our sponsors, Bendigo Bay Coffee Park, 1111 Fitness, and Swiss Locker. And you, Mac, remember, get, get your game, game face on. on.